the brain processes information in a sequence that involves several key stages, input, encoding, storage, and retrieval. Each of these steps plays a crucial role in how we take in, store, and access information. Part 1. Stages of memory and information processing. 1. Information input. This is the stage where sensory information from the environment is received by the brain through the senses. Visual, auditory, gustatory, olfactory, and tactile inputs are absorbed by specialized areas of the brain. 2. Encoding information. Once input is received, the brain transforms it into a format it can store. Encoding can be visual, acoustic, or semantic. For example, you might encode a list of words visually by remembering what they looked like or semantically by understanding their meaning. 3. Information output. After the brain encodes and stores information, it can be retrieved and used when needed. Retrieval can be affected by how well the information was encoded and how frequently it has been accessed. Part 2. Short-term memory, or STM. This is where information is temporarily stored. This system has specific characteristics. 1. Duration. Information in short-term memory typically lasts between 15 and 30 seconds. Without rehearsal, it fades quickly, leading to forgetting. 2. Capacity. Short-term memory can hold a limited amount of information, often cited as 7 plus or minus 2 items or chunks. This means that we can usually remember between 5 and 9 pieces of information at once. 3. Rehearsal. To extend the duration of information in STM, we use rehearsal either by repeating the information or by associating it with other memories. Rehearsal can help transfer information from short-term to long-term memory. 4. Displacement. This phenomenon occurs when new information pushes out old information in memory. Part 3. Long-term memory, or LTM. This is where information is stored for extended periods, potentially a lifetime. 1. Duration. Unlike short-term memory, long-term memory is thought to have an unlimited duration. Memories can last for years, decades, or a lifetime. 2. Capacity. The capacity of long-term memory is also considered limitless. While STM has strict capacity limits, LTM can hold a vast amount of information, ranging from personal experiences to factual knowledge. 4. Interference. In long-term memory, interference can affect the retrieval of stored information. Interference comes in two types, proactive, when older memories interfere with the recall of newer ones, and retroactive, when new memories disrupt the recall of older ones. This is why it's harder to remember a new password after years of using an old one. The flow from input to encoding, short-term holding, and eventually long-term storage illustrates the brain's sophisticated system for managing memory. If you learn something new about how psychology affects our daily lives, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss the next episode. Until next time, stay sharp.